ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel welcome back to ncaa 12 dynasty mode with yours truly gaming cube head coach of the michigan wolverines jim harbaugh is out gaming cube is in and if you missed the last episode i highly recommend you guys go back and watch that we absolutely destroyed washington by a score of 59 20 behind a record-setting day by running back blake Corm. and as you can see we still have our starting quarterback k mcnamara out for the next three weeks with a torn pectoral but last week freshman quarterback jj mccarthy played very well for us going 17 to 34 257 yards with four touchdowns one interception the story of last week was the historic record setting day of blake Corm. he set an all-time single game record for michigan so far in the season he has 32 carries 388 yards five touchdowns with an average of 12.1 Hashan haskins the backup playing very well as well with limited carries 14 carries 219 yards and five rushing touchdowns and right here you can see the top 25 we have yet to make that list but we are going to be taking on 18th ranked notre dame if we can pull out a win we have a great chance of entering the top 25 for this season for the top stories of the week ohio state got the victory over number nine oklahoma the lsu tigers will open up sec play against number 15 mississippi state usc gets the victory over utah and of course no surprise the then number two ranked alabama crimson tide get an impressive victory over florida atlantic by a score of 37 nothing they are now the number one ranked team in the country highest minute watch hasn't changed much jonathan jones is number one from stanford then we have brandon ryan the quarterback from boise state at number two number three are running backs dan johnson from oregon and jr sutton at alabama and oregon quarterback jake harris is the fifth ranked player on the board and our players of the week michigan running back blake corn with that record setting day 352 yards four touchdowns on 26 carries in a 59-20 shellacking of Washington. And right here at the top of our recruiting board, we have three four-star players, all interested in coming to Michigan. We got wide receivers, Travis Robertson, along with Lance Carr, and defensive end, Marquis Bailey. Four-star cornerback, Otis Fields, also interested in coming to Michigan. We're gonna go ahead and try to increase that interest, and we do, plus 309. And with all of our recruiting done for the week, we are gonna go ahead and advance to the next week and take on 18th ranked Notre Dame. And Kirk Herbstreet is gonna be picking Notre Dame in this game. Definitely gotta pull out the upset on this one. As you can see, we're ranked number one in points per game with a very short sample size. Notre Dame is at number 11. We have the number one rush defense as well. And Notre Dame is ranked number 30 in rush defense. We can definitely take advantage of that. I think we can expect another great game from Blake Horm. JJ McCarthy also want to let him sling it some more. Notre Dame has a pretty solid quarterback as well. Nine touchdowns, no interceptions, 865 yards. And their leading receiver, Ingram, has four touchdowns with 306 yards receiving on 24 catches. And without further ado, let's hop right into this rivalry game. And it is a rainy day in South Bend, Indiana. The presentation in this game is so incredible. I just don't understand why Madden can't have presentation like this. And this game was made in 2012. Call his heads. We're going to go ahead and defer to the second half. Oh, and a big stop by Brian on first down. Two carries to start off the drive. Third and six. And he'll get the first down on the carry. Oh, almost intercepted by Gray. Big play here on third down. Oh, he's going to get it. Bring the blitz again, and we're going to stuff him up. Oh, and it's intercepted by Gray. We get the turnover on the first defensive series of the game. Let's go. The leaps on Vincent Gray right there to come down with that ball. Incredible. Let's see how Blake Corum does today. Record setting day last week. He'll start it off good with a gain of eight. Going to pass the ball off here to Haskins. He'll make the catch juke the guy and he gets the first down like i said i do want to air it out quite a bit this game but i also want to give blake quorum his carries oh he'll get stuffed at the line right there third and six we got the squiggly lines on the field drop off to bell and he makes the catch and he's gonna go all the way for the touchdown first drive of the game we get the touchdown perfect throw and all that yak yardage at the end by Ronnie Bell. Michigan takes the lead 7-0 pending the extra point. The kick is good and we take the lead 7-0. Perfect start to this game. Honestly didn't expect to get a passing touchdown for the first touchdown of the game. But we'll definitely take it. Juan McCarthy to have a good day today. 
swatted away. Good play defensively. We got second down. As you can see, pretty much all day, we're going to be bringing the blitz. We want to rush this quarterback as much as possible. They'll run it inside and tackle quickly. Big third down coming up. Doesn't like what he sees. Steps back to pass. And he'll throw another interception this time to the linebacker, Aiden Hutchinson. A terrible start by Notre Dame. Two drives, two interceptions. As you can see, that crowd has quieted down. Two drives, two interceptions for Notre Dame. Corn with the sweep, he'll get a couple yards. We can quiet this crowd early with another touchdown. That would be fantastic. Corm up the middle. Tough running. Third and inches. We're going to go ahead and give it to Blake Horn. Makes the catch. First down. Big third down. First down. Now we're going to throw it to the end zone for Ronnie Bell. He catches it. Touchdown, Michigan. The kick is up and the kick is good. What a start by Michigan. We're up 14 0 on the 14th ranked Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Four plays, 30 yards. Honestly, might have to bump this difficulty up past varsity. And it's been forever since I played college football, so I figured varsity would be a good place to start. But we might bump that difficulty up next week. Notre Dame has pretty much been in hurry up this entire game. They're going to get the first down. Turner misses the tackle. They're going to go all the way. Terrible defense on my part. And Notre Dame with the punch back. They're certainly not going to go down without a fight. Kick is up. The kick is good. Three plays, 78 yards. Ending with a touchdown. Let's see if we can respond. Ronnie Bell on the kick return. He's going to take it up. Change of direction. He's going to juke. Get some separation. Pretty good return by Ronnie Bell right there. So far, Blake Corm hasn't had the best day. Let's see if we can give him some more yards here. This Notre Dame run defense seems pretty well. Even though they're ranked 30th in the league. We're going to go ahead and give him the ball here on second down as well. Big hole opens up. Wait for the blocks. And he's going to break free. Get the stiff arm and a nasty stiff arm by Blake Horm. 17 eats dirt, 45 with the chase, but he can't get him. Blake Horm with the breakaway touchdown. What a run. 17 eats the dirt with that nasty, nasty stiff arm. 45 trying to chase him down, but Blake Horm is going to leap into the end zone for the touchdown. What a response by Michigan. I was saying Blake Horm didn't have any breakaway plays yet, but right there, 67 yard rush for the touchdown. Terrific response by Michigan. Two plays, 66 yards. Blake Horm is just an absolute beast. Now let's see if this defense can bounce back after giving up that quick touchdown. Notre Dame's been a hurry up offense this entire game. Don't know if Michigan can handle it. Hutchinson coming in with the blitz and unevaded to the quarterback. He hits him and the quarterback's going to throw it out of bounds. Hutchinson was right in his face and he's telling him that right now. Third and four coming up. We got to stop these short yard passes. He's going to throw and he's going to be caught by number eight. First down. Aiden Hutchinson pumping up this Notre Dame crowd. And he's going to get the big monster hit. Aiden Hutchinson savage taunting the crowd and makes the play third and long now Let's see if Michigan can make this play and it's gonna be intercepted by Hill He's gonna make a return out of it Three interceptions by Michigan. We are absolutely winning this turnover battle early in this game 21-7 at the end of one don't think many expected this outcome. Second quarter underway. Second and seven. Give it to Corm on the carry. He's going to get stuffed. Third and six coming up. Third and six. Give it to Bell. Is going to miss the throw. Incomplete. Coaches want me to go for it on fourth and six. We are going to go for it. Give it to our big tight end. Schumacher in the middle of the field. And he makes the catch. Crucial. Unbelievable fourth down conversion. Quorum with the carry. He has a wide open lane to the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan. The kick is up and the kick is good. Michigan takes the lead 28 7. Notre Dame is 3 of 5 on third downs today. They would love to convert it right here. 
That's a pass he's gonna throw and he makes the catch for the first down. Second down and 10, they're gonna hand it off and he's gonna get stuffed for no yards. Losing a yard actually. Big third down and long right here. We're bringing the pressure. And he's gonna get sacked. Again, look at that, five people coming right to the quarterback. Take your pickings. We are teetering on the brink of a blowout, and Blake Horm is going to rush it up field. Gains about 20, 25 yards. A gain of 23, and we have no reason to pass this ball. We're just going to be rushing it all the way down the field. Yeah, it's a Corm again. Gain of eight. Second and two. Blake Horm runs up again. Huge hole. First and ten. Hashan Haskins now in the game. We pitch it to him. He runs right. Gain of five yards on the play. Give it to Haskins again. He's going to get walloped. No gain on the play. And he appears to be injured. Sean Haskins on the second carry gets completely walloped. And he is down. Third down and five. We're going to rush it. Corm, he's going to break the tackle. Get the first down. Tough running. Second seven. We're going to give it to our third string back, Edwards. He'll get the first down. We are just running it down their throat with a three-headed monster. Edwards with the carry wide open lane to the end zone touchdown Michigan and Michigan completely silencing the home crowd here and unfortunately Haskins has a dislocated elbow he's going to be out for the next seven weeks crucial loss to this team second down and 10 Notre Dame still in the hurry up high snap he throws it and it's going to be intercepted by Hutchison his second pick of the game and he's going to run it in for the touchdown when it rains it pours terrible throw going right to the linebacker and he runs it back in for six trying to get us to jump off sides it doesn't work they snap the ball he's going deep and it's almost intercepted by Morant we're gonna be more than content they're running this ball down killing that clock and going into the half safe and that's the end of the first half, and it looks like we've got an upset on our hands. The score here in South Bend is Michigan 42, Notre Dame 7. For Michigan, they had one of the best halves of football you're going to see against a high-quality opponent. Let's get some more info from Aaron Andrews. This is far from what any of us thought would play out, guys. You can see each sideline and their attitude being shaped by what's transpiring on the field. On one side, you see a team patting each other on the back, imploring each other to keep going. On the other sideline, players are shaking their heads in utter disbelief. There was a pretty good number of big plays on both sides. Guys? Absolutely nobody expected Michigan to come up into South Bend, Indiana and put up the amount of points and dominate the way that they have today. Second down 11, the draw play to Edwards, and he's going to get the first down. Really excited to get Donovan Edwards some more carries on the ground. He looks absolutely terrific. He's going to get the stiff arm. He gets the first down. He tries to do the spin move, but he gets swallowed up. Great, job here Great run by Edwards. And this Notre Dame defense has to be getting tired here. Second and 10, throwing a corm. He's going to get the first down. First and 10, play action pass. And he had Bell. But he had the tight end wide open. Made the wrong throw on that play. And as you can see, the tight end was left wide open. Wrong read on that play. 86 was wide open there in the end zone. You can expect that from freshman quarterback. Not always going to make the right play. Second and 10. He makes the right play this time. Throws it to Corm. Blake Corm, great on the ground. Great receiving. Third down and one. We're going to give it off to Edwards. And he's going to hurdle. And he gets the touchdown. Michigan cannot be stopped. First down and 10, he's going to throw it. It's going to be intercepted by Turner. Four interceptions on the day, I believe, by Notre Dame quarterback. And the crowd now, raining boos down on the field. This may actually be the best defensive drive by Notre Dame so far in this game. 
But Edwards is going to get the carry, and I spoke too soon because Edwards breaks tackles and, and the heads to the one. end zone for another bit, touchdown. Edwards with his third touchdown of the day. The Pick is good. It was a quick three play, 23 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Three so plays, goal, 23 56, yards, 56 seven. to 7, all off that interception. They hand the ball off and pick up 10 yards on the play. Notre Dame trying to make this look respectable. First down and 10, and the quarterback's going to get hit on the carry. And we are bringing the rush here on second and seven. They're going to throw a wide receiver screen and get swallowed up. Loss of yards on the play. Third down and eight. He's going to throw it, and he makes the catch for the first down. Second 11 and a big pass play. First and goal. Third down and goal. He's going to drop back to pass. As all day in the pocket throws, touchdown. The kick is up and the kick is good. And Notre Dame with a touchdown, trying to make it look respectable. But when the score is 56 14, hardly looks respectable. McCarthy goes to the air, finds Bell, gain a four on the play. And absolutely nobody besides head coach Gaming Cube expected this kind of outcome here today. Corum on the right Corum side. will get the carry. He'll bust off 15 yards. Line. First down and 10. Corum, Corum gets the carry yet again. Oh, God. We fumble the ball in Notre Dame as another and touchdown the to the board. 21 56. Third down and 10. Now Bowman has his tight end wide open and he makes the catch for the, the first down. No sense in really passing it. So on third down and nine, we're going to run the ball. Corum's going to run it right through the referee. And get a first down. Edwards back in the game on first and 10. Hands it off. Gets the first down. We are perfect in the red zone today. Four for four. Looking to make it five for five as Edwards gets the carry. He's going to get stopped. Second down and goal. Bowman back to pass. He's going to throw. Fine Ronnie Bell, but he's short of the end zone. Third down and goal. And our star running back, Quorum, is in the backfield. He gets the handoff, and he's in for the touchdown. We're at the point where we're not even celebrating. And that will be it in South Bend, Indiana. Huge upset by the Wolverines today. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, Michigan 63, Notre Dame 21. A legend is born. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? But the result isn't surprising to this bunch or to their coaches. They knew what they were capable of, and they were itching for a chance to shock everybody. Michigan took me and everyone else in the stadium by total surprise. They looked fresh and prepared right from the get-go and played this whole game with a great sense of determination. Michigan wins the first robbery game Dame, of the season. This will be their first loss of the year. And for Michigan, they start their season off in perfection and they notch their third straight win. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 12. For Kirk Herbstreet and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks and we'll see you soon. In our stats on the day, J.J. McCarthy goes 13 of 15, 147 yards with two touchdowns. Alan Bowman in garbage time goes 3 of 4 for 39 yards. But Blake Horm, another terrific day on the ground, 26 carries, 226 yards, three touchdowns with an average of 8.6. Haskins was 2 of 5, but he got injured early in the game, and Donovan Edwards took over with 10 carries, 118 yards, and three touchdowns. Ronnie Bell also had a good game, five receptions, 82 yards, two touchdowns. An absolute shocker in today's episode as Michigan goes into the 14th ranked Notre Dame Fighting Irish and absolutely mop the floor with them by a score of 63 to 21. And for the first time this season, Michigan makes the top 25 ranked at number 22. But the absolute disrespect is that Notre Dame is one spot ahead of us. And our next game is gonna be our Big Ten opener against Minnesota. They are one and three on the season. But that is gonna be it for this episode. If you guys did enjoy it, leave a like, smash the subscribe button, drop a comment down below, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Much love, take care, and peace.